Hey guys, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my second tutorial, my second fall tutorial. Why did I do four? My second fall tutorial. This has been a while since I've actually filmed. But um, I didn't want to just do one tutorial for the fall. I kind of wanted to do two different kinds of looks. The first look was very, very simple. This look is a little bit more darker. Um, I used a lot more cool tones in this video and I obviously used a more cool toned lip. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if I'm feeling it. You guys let me know what you think. I don't know, girl. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's get started with the tutorial. Alrighty, we're going to start off with primer. I'm using the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. It's become my favorite, and you guys know how I feel about primers, but this one's really, really good. Makeup Forever HD Foundation, my color. Ooh, they changed the numbers. I don't even know the number anymore, but it used to be 123. And I'm using about two pumps here, and I do wet my brush. I always forget to show it, um, but I just use the Makeup Forever setting spray. Wow, this is a Makeup Forever video. <laughs> uh, and I'm using the Kabuki brush from Tarte. Trying something new for brows. This is the Maybelline little kit that's out for brows. I believe the color that I have is soft brown, I want to say. And it's kind of cute. It has two, it has one color, one wax, and then a matte highlight shade. I only actually use the brow color in the video, but the brushes that are included in the kit I thought were very handy and they're definitely functional. So I think it's a really cute kit from Maybelline for brows. If you like a softer brow, I definitely recommend going with a shadow. If you like a more bolder looking brow, definitely go with pencil. I'm priming my eyes with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I have this little bit left that I'm holding on to for dear life before I go and I get another one. But it's just my favorite. It prevents creasing. It ensures that my shadows stay bold. You know the drill. And here I'm using Benefit Highbrow. This is just to further define my eyebrows. And then just to finish up my brows, I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist. for shadows. I'm using MAC Quarry here and I'm applying that with a Sigma E40 and no real rhyme or reason here, just applying that to my crease as my transition shade. It's a really cool toned uh, shadow. I love to work with it when I'm doing a cool toned look or purpley look or silver or gray. I just really really like it. I'm taking my Lorac Pro 2 and I'm going in with this matte shade called Cool Gray and I'm using that as my all over shadow and I'm just using a, what is this, an elf brush, a little elf shading brush and I'm just applying that to my lid I was having a little bit of trouble blending that in so I took another brush just to uh, blend it since they're both matte and that just helped blend the colors a little bit better and then of course I go back to Quarry just to help that all blend together. To add some drama to my eye look I'm using MAC Deep Damson which I am sure you guys have heard me talk about before and I'm using a MAC, why do I keep saying MAC? It's Sigma E25 and I'm applying that to the outer corner, the outer V of my eye. Just watching this color blend just gives me life. Like, it just makes me so happy. I love, love, love that shade. Now I'm going back to my Lorac Pro palette, and I'm using my favorite color out of that palette, which is Nectar. It's kind of like a warm, kind of warm toned, but I just like to use it to blend, 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 blend. <music> to 
to clean up the eye, I'm going to use a matte shade buff from the Laura Pro 2 palette and I'm just going to apply that right underneath my brow bone. And here I'm just going to add a little bit more deep dance in just to kind of intensify it a little bit more. corner I'm taking MAC Electra which is a silvery shade and I'm just gonna apply that to the inner corner I'm using a pencil brush from Sigma as well I don't remember the number I think it's E20 something I'm not even gonna try <laughs> moving on to concealer I'm using Maybelline fit me concealer I believe the color is sand I'm just gonna apply that underneath my eyes and I'm gonna blend that in with a real techniques Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush. I'm going to quickly set the concealer with the Ben Nye Banana Powder, which I have been really, really liking. And I'm using a Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush, I believe it's called. Um, but yeah, just really nice for setting underneath the eyes. Then I'm going to go back to the shadows again. I'm going to take Electra and I'm going to apply that right to the bottom lash line. I'm also going to go back to the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm using the same shade that I used before, Cool cool Brown. And I'm using a MAC 239 brush, it's my favorite brush for working on the lower lash line. I'm using this Urban Decay pencil in Sabbath and I'm going to apply that to my waterline. And I liked it, it was softer than black, but um, it was not as intense as black, so I just really, really like the navy shade on the lower lash line. And I'm going to do some liner, I'm not going to do a wing, but I did want to play something because I am going to be applying lashes. And I'm using these Kiss lashes, they're called Shy, they're very, very nice, but I suck at applying lashes. <laughs> Alrighty, moving back to the face, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm taking that first powder and I'm just going to use that to set my face. Then of course I'm going to move on to bronzer. I'm using the Laura Mercier Ritual Bronzer and I'm using a Sigma F40 to do that. I'm just going to kind of contour and bronze up my face, give it some color. I'm also going to apply some blush. I'm using NARS Mata, Matahari. I always feel weird saying that, <laughs> but it's a really beautiful blush. I love it, love it, love it in the fall months. And I'm just using the same brush that I used for the bronzer. I wanted to add a little bit of highlight, so I'm using the same palette that I used before. I'm just going to take the middle shade, which is the Luminous Light, I believe, and I'm using Air Eco Tools highlighting, blur highlighting brush. <laughs> and lastly, for lips, I'm going to be using this Milani Lip Liner in Natural. And I was kind of trying to lighten up this lip color because I do use MAC Stone. Um, I didn't want to make it any darker, so I just go in and I line my lips with it and then I apply MAC Stone, but I kind of like mesh it in together with the lip liner, as you can see. So this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I've missed 
talking to the camera so much. Well, obviously talking to you, but I mean like this I want this to be opened up. So I am going to be filming my lookbook. I posed this question on Instagram to see if you guys wanted to see what I wear day to day to work and you know just out and about and I got a lot of positive feedback for that video so I am going to be fil I am going to be filming that video so please stay tuned for that. I also am going to be doing one on weight loss and what I've done to lose weight. As most of you have noticed, I have lost weight. So I did want to go ahead and tell you guys exactly what I did and all of that. So that are two videos that you can definitely, definitely expect from me. And I just wanted to open this to see what else you guys wanted to see or uh, wanted me to film. Um, I was thinking of doing another FAQ because I get random questions all over my social media and I just would like to condense that into one video so that you guys can ask me questions and I can answer them. So if you have any requests or you want to see an FAQ video from me, let me know what you want to know and I will compile that all into video if I have enough questions. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will catch you guys later.